What's up, core reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Listen, I am just getting back from vacation. I got back this afternoon. I am in no condition to film. <laughs> so, I, But I do want to get this story out because it happened just the other day while I was wrapping up my vacay. And, of course, I wanted to talk about it with you guys before the story got old, okay? Now, um, former Teen Mom 2 star Kaylin Lowry pretty much just admitted on her Baby Mama's No Drama podcast to having a fifth child. Now, Kale has been rumored to have a fifth child, a secret fifth child, an unclaimed fifth child, since like November of last year, was, which is when she reportedly gave birth, right? Photos like this of her were circulating around the internet. A lot of people were making, um, you know, different claims here and there. There was team pregnant, team not pregnant. But I think even outside of these photos, if you suffer through her podcast the way the same way I suffer through her podcast on a weekly basis, you would have put two and two together based on all of the clues that she was dropping on her podcast, right? Like I didn't need that photo of Kale to come out for me to know that she was pregnant, right? Like she started talking on her various podcasts about how she stopped drinking coffee for, you know, a couple of months, how she stopped dyeing her hair for a couple of months how she stopped doing Botox. And then like, you know, suddenly she was able to do all those things again. Huh? What makes you stop doing all those things outside of a bun in the oven and perhaps a tight budget? Uh, I can't think of anything. Right. And we know her budget ain't tight. So it was always kind of out there. And then like, she would post videos on social media. You super sleuths would see like baby rockers and whatever in the background, the special car seats for newborns in the background. And then we once heard her in a video with like her kids, uh, the claimed ones like Lux and whatnot. Um, and in the background, you clearly hear a baby nursing and whatnot. Like there's a lot of very obvious clues that have been dropping around for a while. And now I guess now that the block is cold, Kale decided to go ahead and spill some tea on herself. And I do think that she did this deliberately, right, to keep getting some buzz going by admitting on her podcast that indirectly, because you have to plug in your brain, go to google.com and put the information together to understand that that is exactly what it is that she did here, okay? So let me give you the context before I play the audio clip. And by the way, shout out to you, Kale, for putting this at the very beginning of your podcast. Because listen, like I said, I'm back from vacation. I did Porto Mau. I had already visited Porto Mau in the Algarve of Portugal maybe two years ago. So this is my second time going there. Um, and I did the Madeira Island of Portugal. Oh my God, incredible. 10 out of 10. I will have videos for that for my channel members. YouTube.com slash grace support slash join if you haven't already for all of those videos. And I have them on Instagram and whatnot. But um I was like, oh, I just had like one of the best vacations of my life. And now I got to listen to this girl's podcast. Please, Jesus, please. So I sat down, I sulked a little bit and I finally sat down. I went to listen to it. And lo and behold, this girl, this queen dropped the tea literally at the beginning of the podcast episode. So let's listen to her spill the tea on herself, shall we? I'm turning it up for you guys did the introduction before you came on but um please introduce yourself so yeah she had one of these culpo sisters i guess this person is related to olivia culpo who i don't really know what she's famous for outside of a head transplant i know that the sisters had a reality show because there was a scene that went viral on tiktok where i think this girl aurora um talked about how she let her husband cheat on her or whatever disrespect her for a solid year and i just remember like La not laughing at it, but just being so stunned at the lack of self-esteem. But anyway, so this is where it comes out. She asks the girl to introduce herself, and then she spills the tea on herself. Uh, you know, as yourself, so that you okay. know, people can get a little... This is so tricky part. Okay. Hi, I'm Aurora Culpo. I am a co-host of a podcast called Barely Filtered, where you can listen on Spotify or Apple or anywhere you listen to your podcast. Um, and uh, my sisters and I also... Did a reality show, maybe you recognize us from HBO Max, um, called The Culpo Sisters. And um, yeah, I'm a mom of two and uh, recently divorced, just hopping in the dating world. So just, you know, got a lot going on. But um, yeah, yeah, I actually watched I first came across your show. Um, I was in the hospital having one of my kids. And oh my wow. So there you go. Kayla and Larry said that she was in the hospital having one of her assorted children 
by her assorted baby daddies uh, while watching the Culpo sisters. So what does a super sleuth such as yourself do when presented with that sort of pertinent information? Well, you hop and skip your ass on over to the internet, right? And then you go to IMDb, you search the Culpo sisters, that show, just to see when this came out. And guess what? TV series that aired in 2022. How long ago was 2022 if we are in 2023 now? One year ago. Wait a minute. Kale's youngest publicly claimed child is Creed, and Creed was born in July 30th, on July 30th of 2020. That's two years before the Culpo sisters came out. So what does this mean? It means that Kale, Breeder Lowry, pretty much exposed herself for having a fifth child, not pretty much, quite literally exposed herself, of having another child. So there you go. After all the speculation and whatnot, it turns out that her third baby daddy, Chris Lopez, was right all along. He said in summer of 2022, that Kale shouldn't be trying to buck up and fight him when she's got a belly to protect. And typically protecting a belly means that you've got a baby in it. And then he also claimed that she had that baby in November of 2022. And he also claimed that she named that baby Elijah Rio. So there you go, you guys. And here's the exciting part. Let's take a look down here. When was the release date? Not just 2022. Kale said that she was having a baby when she was watching this. She was in the hospital because this time she doesn't have a restraining order or a PFA against her baby daddy. So she could give birth in the hospital. And guess when that was? November of 2022. So everything that Chris, Grandma's Attic Lopez, said about Kale Breeder Lowry was absolutely true. She was pregnant last year with her fifth child by her fourth man. And she gave birth as confirmed by Kale herself in November of 2022. There's no more speculation here, you guys. This is the fact. Now, the only thing we could speculate on and wonder and pose questions on is when she's going to publicly claim this child. It could take a while. I thought she was going to do it on Valentine's Day. I thought she was going to do it for Father's Day, Mother's Day, but no, she hasn't done that. She only called Elijah Zaddy in a joking way on Father's Day after shouting out her assorted baby's fathers. But guess what? It's almost been a year since she had this child. How many months until November? Let me pull out my fingers. July to August, August to September, September to October, October to November. We're only four months away from that child being one year old. You know what that means? Perhaps he will finally be picked up from the baggage claim and paraded publicly on the social media streets in honor of his first birthday. We never know. Listen, I have a former friend who denied having kids for like 10 plus years. Long story. So this does happen that people could just do this for a really long time. Um, so I don't know, you guys, but I will just say, Kale didn't spill the tea on herself by accident. Her podcasts get edited after the fact. She very easily could have said, you know, that little bit about having a kid while I was watching the Culpo Sisters? That show came out in 2022, and it is not a good idea for me to put it out there that I was having my unclaimed child when that show was airing because teen mom viewers are very, very intelligent, if I do say so myself. But I'm not even talking about myself because guess what? When this tea came out, I was tanning my armpits in Madeira not thinking about this, not counting the dates. The real geniuses are you guys. You know what the next mystery is? This bracelet that Kale started wearing recently, Mom of Seven. Now that we know from her mouth herself that she's got five kids, 
Does this mom of seven bracelet means that there are two more on the way? Only time will tell you guys. There's a lot going on. And like I said, I just got back home from my vacay. I My skin was going crazy, by the way, during this vacation. As soon as I landed, I broke out in like hives or something or allergic rash. I'm not sure yet. I have an appointment with my doctor next week. And I'm losing my voice from all the air conditioning. Oh, the first world problems. I got to handle them. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. Do you think that Kale strategically spilled the tea on having a secret fifth child on her baby mama's no drama podcast? And if so, why? What motivated her to suddenly put this information out there? Was this a soft launch? Is she ready to roll out the carpet for this child's first birthday in November? Will she reveal the name and everything? I don't know. Or do you think it was an accident? Maybe she forgot that the couple of sisters only just came out in November of 2022. Maybe she, you know, like me, has issues with understanding like timelines, right? I am horrible with timelines. Something could have happened like 10 years ago and I'll think it happened last week. You know, she could be like me in that respect. You never know. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, you guys. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.